Hey everyone, I'm Nick, and welcome back to another episode of PyTest Basics. So in this episode of the series, we're going to be looking at the basics of the conf test file in PyTest. So in the last video, we looked at the basics of fixtures, but we made a somewhat unfortunate design decision, which was that we put our fixtures in the same file as our tests. Now, the reason why this isn't necessarily such a great idea is because we'll often have multiple tests that want to use the same fixtures, but these tests might be in different files. Now, one way we could, of course, solve this problem is by you know, taking out our fixtures and placing them into some sort of common file and then having all of our tests, say, import the fixtures they need from that file. Now, while this would work, it's a bit cumbersome and annoying to do because now we have to modify all of our test files to include the fixtures that they need. However, PyTest provides a nice way around this through these configuration files called conftest.py. And that's what we're going to be looking at today. So let's go ahead and start out by opening up our first example in this test conftest0.py file. And we see a couple of familiar faces. So we see our square function, square is a number. And then we see our test for our square function called test square. Now our test here um, is importing our fixture from last time, right? This initial value fixture. However, we don't have this fixture defined in this file, and we also don't have any imports in this file. So where exactly is this fixture coming from? Well, it's coming from this special configuration file called conftest.py. So let's go ahead and open that up. So we'll open up conftest.py, and we can see our fixture from last time, right? This initial value fixture that returns the value five. So that one of the nice things about the conftest file with respect to fixtures is that we can define our fixtures in this conftest file, and we'll have them available to us um, in our test files without having to go through the process of importing all of them, right? So it's a very nice convenience here. Okay, so let's go ahead and get out of here. And the first thing we can do is see which fixtures we have available to us in this test conf test zero file. So we'll run pytest dash dash fixtures on test conf test zero dot py. And we see all of our um, other fixtures that we have. And then we see down here fixtures defined from conf test. So just like last time, how when we ran this command on our test file, we saw you know the fixtures that we had defined in the file that we were pointing to. Now not only do we see you know any fixtures we have defined in that test file, we also see the fixtures defined in the conf test file I itself. So here we see our initial value fixture defined at line eight of that file. Okay, great. So we can of course also just run this test. So pytest test conf test zero dot py. And our test runs and completes successfully. Great. So conftest provides us a nice way with fixtures to um, have access to them without having to import them into all of our tests. Okay. So let's go ahead and move on to our next example. And we're going to go one level deeper into our uh, directories here with test conftest one. And here we have another test, this test conftest one.py, which looks identical to the test that we had before. So there are sometimes cases where um, we want to use different fixtures and different tests, right? Or just different circumstances. And one thing that we can do with conf test is we can have multiple conf test files um, in different directories, right? And PyTest will use the right fixtures based on which directory that you're in or which directory that the test is in. So in here, we see we have our test square function that's still requesting this initial value fixture. But if we go ahead and open up the conf test file in this directory, this test contest one directory, we can see that we also have this auto use fixture from last time defined in this conf test file now, right? So here it's just an auto use fixture. So um, regardless of whether test requests it or not, it's going to print out test starting right at the beginning of the test. But our test is also requesting our initial value fixture from its parent directory conf test file. Okay. So we can go ahead and quit out of here and we can take a look at the fixtures available to us in te test conf test one. So we can do pytest dash dash fixtures, test conf test one. And we see available to us defining conf test, we have our initial value fixture, which is from the previous directory's conf test file. So you see this dot dot slash conf test dot py line eight. And then we see the log start fixture from the current conf test file. So we have access to both you know, the fixtures that are defined in the conf test file in our current directory, as well as the ones in the parent directories. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this. So we'll run pytest test conf test one.py with dash s so that we can see the print. 
and we can see that not only did our test pass, meaning we got our initial value, we also see the printout from that auto use fixture defined in that conf test file. Now, by comparison, if we go back to our previous example here and ran pytest test conf test 0.py with dash s, we still don't see any print, right? Because the conf test file is in uh, one of these subdirectories, right? It's in that test conf test one directory, not in the current directory or any of the parent directories. So it doesn't get picked up here. Okay. So that's our second example. We can go ahead and move on to our third with respect to conf test. So we'll go to test conf test two. Now, there are often situations where we want to have the same name for a fixture, but we want to have it do different things in different circumstances. So for example, I might have a fixture that provides some sort of initial data, right, or initial values, right, for a test. And, you know, in one directory, I may want that to be all zeros. In another directory, maybe I want it to be all ones. In another directory, I want it to be random numbers. But I don't want to have to remember, say, you know, the names of 10 or 15 different fixtures, right, depending on what data I'm generating. So what I might do instead is just overload the name of the fixture to do something different based on which directory that I'm in. And that's another thing that we can do in conf test here. So let's go ahead and open up our test, test conf test 2.py. Again, it's identical to all the other examples. We have our square function and our test square function that's requesting some initial value fixture. But if we go ahead and open up our new conf test file, and it's conf test.py, we see we have a new implementation of initial value here, right? Which prints, you know, providing the value 10 and then returns the number 10 um, instead of the number 5, like our other fixture does. Now, what PyTest will end up doing is it will select the fixture, um, if there's fixtures of the same name, that's closest to your test. So in this case, we have two fixtures named initial value, one in the current directory and one in the parent directory. So PyTest will pick the fixture in the current directory with that name and try to use that fixture. Okay, so let's go ahead and quit out of here. So we can go ahead and look at the fixtures again. So I can do pytest dash dash fixtures on test contest 2.py. And you can see both of the initial value fixtures get picked up. So the one from the previous directory. So you can see the dot dot slash conf test.py and the one from the current directory, right? Just conf test.py. However, it's this current directory one that will actually be used by our test. So we can go ahead and run our test using pytest test conf test 2.py with dash s so that we can see the print. And we can see that it picked up the one from the current directory, right? The one that prints providing the value 10. So we have another way of kind of constructing our hierarchy of tests, putting comp test files in different locations, sometimes overloading names, sometimes providing new fixtures, um, but all without having to import them directly into our tests. So saving us a few lines of code and some hassle. Okay, so that's gonna go ahead and do it for this time. It's basics of using the comp test file in PyTest. Of course, if you wanna learn more about fixtures, I'd encourage you to check out the main documentation for PyTest at docs.pytest.org. So I have the page up on fixtures here. I'll go ahead and link that down below. Likewise, you can also check out all of these examples at github.com slash copy before arch. So you can find them under repositories and then they're all in this PyTest repository. Likewise, I've also written some guides on PyTest, which I'll link down below. So I even have one specifically on the conf test file. But that's gonna go ahead and do it for this time. As always, I'm Nick and I hope you have a nice day.